Good morning, YouTube. Just making a, a video for my thoughts and rambles here on this lovely Tuesday morning. I actually have work this morning to do. It's nice. I'm currently in the process of removing the differential to get access to the rear diff bushing to replace it. This is the one in the frame. Currently have the exhaust removed on that trans jack and using this trans jack to support the differential during the repair. Uh, so this morning I was watching a video that was made by another, another technician and he was upset to find my tools. He was upset this morning that his service advisor would not sell work uh, because, well, as he put it, let's see if I can remember it correctly. The part was on back order. Why can't the client go into a loaner car? He didn't say it as kindly as that, but that's the gist of it. And that reminded me of my time as a service writer. I uh, wasn't a service writer for a very long time, but there is a disconnect between the technicians in the back and service writers in the front. And I would recommend any technician to not necessarily be a service writer, but shadow your service writer. Try to understand how they get paid as well. I understand at the end of the day, you got to make sure you get a paycheck, but being a service advisor is a very thankless job. We deal with a lot of customers who are upset because their car is broken. And in their mind, it's them against their car and you. And by extension, the shop or dealership, when in all reality, the mentality should be them and their service advisor with obviously, or them and their mechanic or the service advisor in their corner against their own vehicle. But uh, most people don't see it that way. And this, this technician was very upset, started out the noise. I need a battery. Yeah, I need a battery. Oh, and before you all say something, I know there are better ones than these. These are the old Milwaukee M12s with the CP 1.5 battery, 1.5 amp hour. Uh, I know they're slow. I use these because they have less power. So when you're doing valve covers and stuff, the more powerful ones I have a Snap-on, Snap-on Brute, the bigger ones, they just over torque everything. And these little weak, these little weak guys come in handy for that stuff. Um, so going back to the upset technician, it was very clear that in, in his shop, I don't really know where he worked, uh, that he does not understand how service writers get paid. I mean, he was only caring about himself in that situation. And service advisors, they get paid a gross. So that's usually how I my pay structure was set up. I mean, there's various tweakings that you can do to that gross pay structure, but at the end of the day, it will be gross. So if we have a client into a loaner car, first of all, loaner cars are not free. Uh, Depending on how they're set up, the manufacturer does bill for them on a daily basis. And uh, for the most part, everyone should just assume a loaner car is $50 a day. So if you have somebody a loaner car for three days, just assume that's $150 out of your gross. Uh, and if some part's on back order and it's going to take you a while to get that part, you're going to basically wipe out any profit you could have had with a courtesy loaner. Um, that being said, well, why don't they just pay for a rental car, pay for that loaner car? If it's not something that keeps the vehicle down or out of service and the vehicle is still drivable, at that point, I would have the client prepay for the part. That way they're vested in their vehicle and they once the part shows up, they can come back and you can get it installed. Uh, putting a client into a loaner car for a part that isn't even in stock and that's on back order makes no sense. And I don't know where the technician was coming from when he said that, um, but it, there's... There's clearly a disconnect between, and, there, and you can see other videos of it. There we go. And this little weak 
guy would do it. Uh, the disconnect between techs and parts and uh, techs and service writers, service writers and parts. You can see there's a lot of skits on, on the internet, TikTok, YouTube, etc. cetera. Um, and uh, it, it honestly leads, leads to disharmony and you know, negative videos like that don't really help anyone. Um, I understand, like yesterday, I was having a really bad day. This is technically a car from yesterday. Um, I got this around two o'clock in the afternoon and this was my first car of the day. Um, slow times happen, so I always like to budget for that. Uh, but I definitely recommend that if you don't really know what your service advisor does, take some time out of your day. I know we're flat rate and we don't get paid for it, but try to understand them a bit better. Because the, more, the better you understand your service advisor, you know, the stuff they have to go through in the front, you know, the better off you're going to be interacting with them. And they sell you more work in the long run. But at the end of the day, you have to understand as a technician, and even a writer need to understand it's not your money it's the client's money um, don't pretend to understand a client's financial situation and we can't force them to you know buy anything that's out of their price range i mean i've had cars that have rolled through here that have been extremely broken and the client well it's out of their budget um, at that point they're choosing between paying other bills and getting their car fixed and sometimes well cars gonna be broken and I know other states have state safety inspections I'm in Maryland currently we have no state safety inspections and sometimes it's a really sh you know shitty decision that, that needs to be made you know, do I put a tire on my car or do I have gas money to go to work so I can buy another set of tires you know. and as somebody who at one point in time was very strapped for cash and if Paul's ever watching this video hopefully you'll leave a comment so you can confirm it I uh, to prevent an overdraft charge from my bank account I went to the bank at lunch and deposited a quarter because I was like I'm not getting hit with that $35 overdraft fee and the lady looked at me dumbfounded she was shocked she's like really a quarter and I'm like damn right a quarter okay well I'm just starting to ramble well this is a ramble video but yeah, service advisors and technicians, we need to do a better job getting along. I know I've had bad experiences with my advisors. I've had bad advisors. I've also been a pretty shitty tech sometimes. So I need to do better in that regards myself. And I always forget sometimes I was a writer, so I know what they deal with up front. And I need to do better at that. Okay. And so here we are. Differential is lowered. We'll be supported by my nice little trans jack here. I lower it just enough. There we go. And I can kind of push it forward. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Go ahead.